Hi kids, it's Miss Linda from the library. Are you ready for a story today? Today we're going to read a book called The Feelings Book. This book was written and illustrated by Todd Parr. Do you know what your feelings are? Is that maybe like when sometimes you're happy? Or happy? Or maybe we're sad? Or we're scared? That's our feelings. So let's find out what happens in this book. Here we go. Sometimes I feel silly. Oh, we like to be silly, don't we? Look there. Sometimes I feel cranky. Cranky is when we're grouchy and mad. Sometimes I feel scared. Do you think the little mouse is afraid of the kitty cat? Probably so, because he says, eek. Sometimes I feel like standing on my head. Can you stand on your head? I can't stand on my head. I would fall down. Sometimes I feel like reading a book under the covers. That's a fun thing to do. We like to hear our bedtime stories, don't we? Yes. Sometimes I feel like celebrating my birthday, even though it's not my birthday. Wouldn't it be fun to pretend like today was your birthday and you could have a birthday party? Maybe you can do that. Sometimes I feel brave, like a superhero. Sometimes I feel like looking out the window all day, just like our little kitty cat friend there. Kitty cats like to look out and see if they can see birds. Sometimes I feel like dancing and listening to music. Sometimes I feel like making mud pies. Is that a fun thing to do? It is, isn't it, huh? Sometimes I feel like I have a tummy ache. Oh no, we're sad when that happens, aren't we? Sometimes I feel like holding friends, hands with a friend. Look there, we're friends. Sometimes I feel lonely. Look at the fish all by himself in the fish bowl. He has a sad face. Sometimes I feel like, feel like yelling really loud. <laughs> you like to do that, don't you? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like staying in the bathtub all day and playing with my little rubber ducky. Sometimes I feel like trying something new. Ooh, that maybe looks a little bit dangerous, doesn't it? We don't want to do anything dangerous. Sometimes I feel like dressing up. Sometimes being very silly when we dress up. There, even the doggy has sunglasses on. Sometimes I feel like doing nothing, nothing at all. Sometimes I feel like camping with my dog. Look there. Do you see those eyes? They're camping out in the doghouse. Would you do that? Probably not, huh? Sometimes I feel like crying. Look, he lost his ice cream cone. That's sad. Sometimes I feel like eating pizza for breakfast. Do you think mommy would let you do that? Probably not, huh? Sometimes I feel like kissing a sea lion. Would you kiss a sea lion? I don't know, maybe. Sometimes I feel like a king. I feel special. Are we ready to play a little game now? 
This is called the happy or sad game. And what kind of face is this right here? Yes, you guessed it. It is a happy face. We like to have a happy face, don't we? Yes. What kind of face is this right here? Ah, uh, you guessed that too. It's a sad face. Sometimes we're happy and sometimes we're sad. So we're going to play a little game now, okay? And we're going to decide if it's a happy thing or a sad thing. All right, if you get to go outside and play, is that happy or is that sad? Which do you think? Did you guess happy? You're right, it is a happy, fun thing when we get to go outside and play. All right, now, what if you can't go visit grandma or grandpa or your friends? Is that a happy thing or a sad thing? That's sad, isn't it? We're sad when we can't go see grandma and grandpa or play with our friends. That makes us sad. Let's try another one. How about when mommy and daddy give us a good night kiss. Does that make us happy or sad? Which do you think? For sure, that makes us happy. And you like to give mommy and daddy a kiss too, don't you? That's good, yes, okay. All right, let's try another one. How about when you can't go to the library? Does that make you happy or sad? Oh, it makes me sad when I can't go to the library. I think it makes you sad too. I hope that soon we'll get to see you at the library. But until then, you keep reading your books at home, okay? And now one more here. Happy or sad, which one? When someone reads you a story, does that make you happy or sad? For sure, it makes us happy. And while you can't come to the library, I hope you're reading your books at home because that's a happy, fun thing. Okay, and now we have one more little quick book here, okay? This book is called The Pigeon Has Feelings Too. And it was written and illustrated by Mo Willems. Pigeon books are funny books. Let's see what the pigeon does today. Here's the bus driver. And the bus driver says, Hey, pigeon, why don't you show everybody your happy face? And the pigeon says, Never! Hmm. He says, why should I? Do I get on your bus and tell you how to drive? Boy, you sure know how to make a bird angry. There, the pigeon's stomping off. He is angry. And he's sad. Everyone always tells me what to do. That makes him sad. And the bus driver says, okay, okay, you don't have to show your happy face if you don't want to. And you know what the pigeon says? Yippee, yippee, I win. You're looking at one happy pigeon right now. Happy, happy, happy. strange about this? Wait a second. That bus driver gets me every time. Because what happened? The bus driver got the pigeon to be happy. And sometimes if you're sad, if maybe mommy gives you a little tickle under the chin or a tickle on your tummy, does that make you be happy then and laugh? Sure it does, and we like to be happy, don't we? So, 
I hope that you have a happy day today, and I will see you the next time. Bye-bye.